Yo, what up? This is Fuad, aka Abnormal Fitness, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how to work out when you are busy. All right, I know you're super busy, right? Like you have absolutely no time to work out. You're either a full-time student who's got three jobs and something else going on the side. You're a parent, or you just have so many things going on in your life you wouldn't even think about working out every day after a super long, exhausting day. All right, number one. You have to make it important. You have to make working out a priority. You eat every day, don't you? You sleep every day, don't you? You make sure you do these things every day. I mean, like for me, I gotta watch my Snapchats every day. It's just something I love to do. And scrolling on Facebook, on Instagram, all this stuff, it just wastes time. It's not productive. But it's something that I like to do. And something I also like to do is work out. And I know this is something that's good for me. And it's something that I make time for. I mean, when you say you don't have time to work out, where's your time going? Is it to watching your favorite TV shows every day? Is it going to the bars on the weekends? Is it reading unnecessarily? Uh, you just gotta make it a priority. Make uh, working out important to you. That way you'll have it in your schedule. <laughs> you got some time. You, you ain't got 10 minutes. Don't give me that. I know you got 10 minutes. Right before you shower, you got 10 minutes. Right when you wake up, you got 10 minutes. Right when you get off of work, you got 10 minutes. Make that time make that time. If you are that dedicated to seeing a change in your body, a change in the way you feel every day, and you want to see the results of the workout, make it that important that you have to do it. And number two is having a routine. Uh, for me, I travel all year round. I've been traveling for the past three, almost four years. And sometimes the schedule is hectic, like absolutely crazy. I mean, we did a Euro trip where we're in different cities every other night. Um, different countries every week and we would get in, throw our bags down and have maybe about an hour and a half before we go explore a party and then do the same thing the next day. And one of the things I like to do uh, was either a workout right when I woke up. So as soon as I work out, I would, um, if they had a gym at the place I was staying, I'd go. If not, just do a quick workout in my room. Or right before I shower, I would do a quick workout, a quick home workout, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And this way I knew I'd be getting it in every day. Like I didn't feel right if I took a shower and didn't work out. Um, so little things like this you can um, put into your routine to make sure you're getting a workout in. Or maybe it's right before you go to sleep, uh, you know, you just maybe hit 100 push-ups, uh, some leg lifts, some mountain climbers, some burpees, whatever it is. just. Make sure it's a routine that you will follow every single day, if not at least five days a week. Um, and number three is just make it fun. Like you want, you want to look forward to these workouts. You don't want it to be something like, oh man, gotta go to the gym or I gotta go do this. Like if you're not enjoying it, you're not gonna want to do it. Make it fun. Like there's so there's hundreds of thousands of workout, different workout videos on YouTube you can find. If you don't like mine, you can find somebody else that. Um, is entertaining for you and something that you enjoy and then also you want to track your progress I mean because if you don't like working out you're not seeing any progress what's the point of you doing it you're not gonna have the motivation to to get up in the morning go downstairs and go for some sprints or uh, whatever type of workout you're doing make sure you can see results and an easy way to do this just take a picture every day and then maybe after every week or two weeks uh, just go go back and look and be like just notice all the little changes in your body like wow like before like this stuff was hanging loose and now I'm pretty tight here or whatever it is that your goal is um, in terms of your body uh, you can see a constant change if you're taking pictures every day and you're consistent with your workouts and your eating the number one reason that people have trainers not because they can show them all the exercisers and everything and they're the experts on that it's to keep them accountable when you have something to keep you accountable, you keep going back to it. I mean, because to say you just went to the gym, you went on the treadmill, went on the elliptical, went to a few machines, did some weights, you're not really feeling any progress that's happening. But when you have a trainer, you know there's someone there to push you. There's someone there who's going to tell you exactly what to do. And if you don't come in, they're going to be on your ass. You better go! You better push! You better dig deep! You better go! You better go! You better go! And that's what you get when you track your results. It's not the same thing. It's not the same person that's in your face telling you what to do every day. But you're seeing the results. You, you know that if you don't do this, you're going to miss out from this day. And then you're going to be so far behind. And that's the reason why people pray, pay for programs. I mean, you can get the same information online, but it's not going to be the same thing. You're not going to have the same motivation about doing a workout 
um, that you searched on YouTube versus if you pay a few hundred dollars for insanity. The level of commitment will be different when you put your money towards it. And if it's not money, just put something up towards it that you know is going to keep you accountable and keep you sustained on that program. Oh, for all y'all that's on Snapchat, follow me, man. I travel the world. I'm in England right now, but uh, let me go. Hey, that's me, foo for me. And um, I'm heading to Colombia soon, so if anyone's out there, I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace.